uh, it's come to my attention that there may be brothers who come in Ramadan and they've come to Qiyamul Layl and they sit in these durus and so on and maybe there's some confusion still regarding this Mubtadi, this innovator Yahya Al-Hajuri my brothers and sisters don't be deceived by this man don't be deceived by those who defend this man this man is a Mubtadi, he is an innovator outside of the Da'ira of Ahlu Sunnati Wal Jama'ah I do not know of a single scholar alive today from the scholars of Ahlu Sunnati Wal Alim not the one that he made an alim, but a true alim. I do not know a single alim today who praises him. But I can name to you nearly 40 scholars who have declared him to be munharif, a misguided deviant. Why? Many things, my brothers and sisters. From them is his accusation against Uthman, that Uthman innovated into the religion a second adhan. This is jahl from his aspect because... The Prophet Sallallahu said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati al-khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiin min ba'di. Upon you is to follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided successors after me. Who are the successors after him? Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali. Uthman is one of them. And when Uthman radiallahu anhu, he instituted this affair, any of the sahaba oppose him? Any single one of them? Ijma'a. What are the sources of deen? Kitab, sunnah, ijma'a. No one opposed him. Even Al-Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, yes, Uthman did it. And if the same situation arises that arose in the time of Uthman, then we do as Uthman did. Because it is a sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdiyin min ba'di. After the Prophet sallallahu he also said, his accusation against the Sahaba, he said that the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, that they participated in the assassination and the killing of Uthman. He wrote this in his book, Ahkam al -Jum a. Some of the scholars said that this Ahkam al Jumma that he wrote, he has a whole chapter on the errors of the Sahaba. Who from Ahl Sunnah is going to write a chapter on the errors and the, uh, and, and, and the defects of the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, except a man who has a sickness in his heart. He wrote a gift for the Rafida. Wrote a gift for, he should rather write, as Ibn Mas'ud said, tell them to count their own sins. Don't look at other people like the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum. Keep your heart and your tongues clean from the Sahaba. Also, the same Yahya al-Hajuri, when he talked about the, in, the innovation of Irja, of the Murji'ah, he said the Sahaba were the ones who initiated this bid'ah. Sahaba? Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said that the bid'ah of, of Irja is more severe than the bid'ah of the Khawarij. Because the bid'ah of Irja, it intends and its intent is to demolish the whole of Islam up until no religion remains. So it is worse than the bid'ah of the Khawarij. And who, who does he say began that? He said this was initiated by the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So this man is a Mubtadi. Upon the tongue of the scholar, Shaykh Rabi Hafidhullah Ta'ala has two volume refutation against this man now. Two volume refutations. Shaykh Abdullah Bukhari has written against him. Shaykh Ubaid al Jabri has written and spoken against him. The ulama have written books against this man. So now they come into our masjid wearing, dressing like us, looking like us, trying to join their heels with our heels. And they come with this hypocrisy. His attacks against Sheikh Ubaid. Sheikh Ubaid is from the great ulama of our times. You know, he said about Sheikh Ubaid, the speech of Sheikh Ubaid, he said, it is like the, the, the flatulence of an old woman. In fact, the wording he used in, it was direct filth, uh, gutter language that he used. It is like the breaking of wind of an old woman. The speech of who? Of this great scholar, Sheikh Ubaid. He declared Sheikh Ubaid to be a hizbi and an innovator. Look what he said about Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari from the ulama of Medina. He said, this man is a juwayhil. What did, he say, what did he say about Muhammad ibn Hadi? That he's juhimani. This is the language they use against Ahlul Ilm. He said that when uh, they, they wrote some poetry in praise of him. And in attack upon Shaykh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali, one of the great scholars of our times. And in that poetry, what did they say? That the efforts and the da'wah of Rabi bin Hadi has wilted away. And you see in there, mashallah, mashallah. Why? Because this man is deluded. He has, you know, these, these d delusions of grandeur. That he thinks he's better than what he is. Why? Because Shaykh Mubli rahimahullah died and the maj was left open to him. So somehow this, all, this, all this power and status got to his head that he thought he was be be bigger and better than he can say anything about the Sahaba and walk away. You think the Ahlul Sunnah are going to leave you alone whilst you attack Sahaba radiallahu anhum? And he said, whomsoever follows Uthman in the calling of the second Adhan, then he is a Mubtadi. 
So if you follow Uthman, you're an innovator. La ilaha illallah. How can anyone sit in this masjid Salafi and be confused about this shaitan? Don't be confused. It's not because we have any... Wallahi, if it was just us and Yahya, and I don't think there is anyone sitting here today. And I'm looking around. No one sitting here today who knows Yahya al-Hajuri better than myself and my elder brother Abu Sufyan Makdal, Hafidhullah. No one knows Yahya al-Hajuri better than us sitting here today. And I'm looking. No one. We know him better. We met him. We stayed with him. We lived with him. We walked with him. We traveled with him. We know this man. And in the time in, when Abu Sufyan went, when he went to the Maj in the early 90s, that they used to just call him Brother Yahya. That's all he was, Brother Yahya. Then Allah raised him. Well, the raising is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of maybe he had some goodness with him at that time. So he learned and he studied at the feet of Shaykh Muqbil. So he was raised. Then Shaytan deceived him. And the scholars tried to correct him. But he allowed this deception to take hold of his heart. And who is the one who controls the hearts? Allah, we can't. The scholars wrote to him, they advised him politely, Shaykh Rabi, subhanAllah. He used to say about Yahya, he said, Yahya, you're a genius. Intellectually, you're a genius. Because you're sharp. Memorize Quran, memorize Bukhari. You're sharp. Use it in a positive manner, ya Yahya. Don't attack Ahlul Sunnah. Don't declare them to be innovators. Don't wage war against the people of Sunnah. Rectify your mistakes. How many times, year in and year out, Shaykh Rabi advising, they want to tell you link with Shaykh Rabi. Shaykh Rabi said, Khalas. Shaykh Rabi doesn't give tele links in his old age. He said, for the match, I will do it. Hoping that Yahya will come back. He will listen. He respects me. He respected Shaykh Rabi. Then when Shaykh Rabi's advice became stronger and stronger, then likewise, his warning against Shaykh Rabi and the scholars who told him to rectify became strong. Arrogant, pride, just like Abu Hassan al Ma'rabi before him, just like Ali al Halabi and so on. My brothers, this deen, this sunnah, that's why Imam Ahmed said that when, when Al Marudi said to him that the one who dies upon Islam dies upon khair, he said, Be quiet. Rather, the one who dies upon Islam and the sunnah dies upon khair, kullu, dies upon every khair. Islam and the Sunnah. This is where all of the khair is. How can you speak against the Sahaba and think that we're going to leave you alone? Would you leave alone someone who speaks against your mother or your father? Falsely slanders them? You wouldn't leave it alone. You'd say, this man has oppressed my parents. Who is there more beloved to me than my parents? They are more beloved to us. Barakallahu feekum. So we will not allow. So if anyone's here with those doubts or those shubahat, then that should clear it for you. Barakallahu feekum. The man left Yemen now. He's living in Mecca, around the corner from a bookstore in Aziziya. On his own. Khalas. Finished. He, what, he th what did he think? That the ummah, that the ulama of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that all of them would be debased and he would remain standing? What is he? Sheikh al-Islam? What does he think he is? That people are going to leave Sheikh al-Fawzan? When they ask Sheikh al-Fawzan about about Yahya al-Hajuri and they mentioned his errors one, two, three, four he said this man don't sit with him don't sit with him don't take from him the one who accuses Uthman then know that he's a munharif he has a, he's possibly Sheikh Fawzan he's possibly an infiltrator into Islam who wants to deceive the people so be careful of these Barakallahu Feekum don't argue with them tell them this is our deen this is the sunnah you don't like it there's the door Barakallahu Feekum we will not tolerate bid'ah in this masjid or the propagation of bid'ah in this masjid. We will not tolerate it. If you want a nice discussion, not an argument, a discussion, you want to bring your shubahat and you want to say, well, actually, I'm still confused about that. Then no problem, I'm here. What do you want to say? You want to speak against Sheikh Ubaid? The one who is praised by the ulama and the scholars of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah? The one who is an alim? A mufti? You want to attack Sheikh Ubaid al-Jabari? No, we will not tolerate it because as Sheikh Al-Albani said, when someone said to Sheikh Al-Albani, yeah, Sheikh, there's a person who speaks ill of you. Said it to Sheikh Al-Albani. Imagine how hard it is. Someone says to you, yeah, Fulan, they speak about you. How should we deal with him? It's hard. It's hard to even answer that question. But Sheikh Al-Albani, look, the alim compared to the general folk. He said, if he attacks Al-Albani, then why does he attack Al-Albani? 
It is not Al Albani he is attacking. It is the Sunnah that Al Albani is carrying that he is attacking. This is his problem. In which case, make Hajar of him. However, if Al Albani did him something wrong, took his wealth, or slandered him, or did something of that nature in the dunya sense, and I have committed a oppression against him, then agree with him. So why is Al Albani warned against? What has Al Albani done to all of these Khawarij? What has Al Albani done to all of these Tablighis and Ikhwanis? Nothing. They attack him only because of the Sunnah that he carries. They attack Sheikh Rabi because of the Sunnah that he carries. Ubaid al-Jabri because of the Sunnah that he carries. Muhammad ibn Hadi, same. Fawzan, same. Luhidan, same. Abdullah Bukhari, same. They attack them because of the Sunnah. So beware, my brothers and sisters, and do not be deceived by these people. Naam, akh, Bilal. No, if they are Salafi, whether they are Tullab, whether they are Du'at, whether they are Ulama, whether they are Mashaykh islam Regardless of what they are, if they are upon Salafiyyah, then their manhaj is one. Their manhaj is one. The manhaj, la, la yata'addad, it doesn't divide and split into many different parts. So anyone who claims that, you're, that you, Fulan, or let's say Sheikh Rabi's manhaj is different to the manhaj of Ubaid al-Jabri. Or Ubaid, Sheikh Ubaid al-Jabri's manhaj is different to Abdullah Bukhari. Abdullah Bukhari's manhaj is different to, let's say, Abu Hakim. Or Abu Hakim's manhaj is different to Abu Khadija. Abu Khadija is different to Hassan al-Somali. A manhaj is one. Our level of ilm is different, of course. None of us are like Sheikh Rabi or Sheikh al-Fawzan in this country. No one in the West is like those ulama or she like Sheikh Ubaid. But our manhaj, my manhaj is a manhaj of Sheikh Rabi. Barakallahu feekum. And if it is not, show me where it's not. My manhaj is the manhaj of Barbahari. And Ahmed ibn Hanbal, this is what I hold as my deen before Allah, that the manhaj and the aqeed of Ahmed ibn Hanbal is the manhaj of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali. And this is the deen of Ahmed ibn Hanbal and this is the deen that I'm upon. So my manhaj is the same as their manhaj. Our knowledge is not the same. He's a mountain and I'm hardly a molehill. No? This is the difference between Ahmed and us. This is the difference between Rabi ibn Hadi and us. But our manhaj is one. Your manhaj is a manhaj of Sheikh Rabi, Barakallahu Feekum. Abdul Basid, your manhaj is a manhaj of Sheikh Rabi. Mikhail, your manhaj, and Zakaria, and Bilal, and Abu Sufyan, your manhaj is a manhaj of Sheikh Rabi, and Ahmed ibn Hanbal and ibn Taymiyyah. You don't have the stature that they have, but your manhaj is their manhaj. Those who make a distinction between the two, that the manhaj of the du'at and tulab al ilm is somehow different to the mashayikh and other than that, then how can it be if we are Salafi? My manager is amazing. My manager is Hassan of Somali and Abu Hassan Malik and Anwar Wright, and they are all the way in America. And our manager is the same as Abu Idris and Abu Hakim and Mu Abu Muad Taqwim and Amjad Rafiq, Abu Iyad. Our manager is one. Barakallahu feekum. Anyone who divides in our between us in our manhaj, then he's a jahil, and he doesn't know us. He doesn't know us. If he says that our manhaj, my manhaj is different to Abu Hakim and Abu Hakim is different to Abu Idris and Hassan of Somali, this person does not know us. And our manhaj was the same as the manhaj of Abu Talha, rahimahullah. Same manhaj, same aqeedah. Same as Abu Uwais, rahimahullah. Same manhaj, same aqeedah, barakallahu feekum. We lived together, we stayed together, we traveled together, we taught together. We are different, of course. Some more pious than others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardon us and forgive us for our shortcomings. But our manhaj and aqeedah is one. Our usul are one. Our, our understanding of the faru was one. We may have differed in some affairs of ishtihadat based upon the rulings of the scholars, but our deen is one, barakallahu feekum, our manhaj is one. So this is why, I, and you are with us in that. And I don't allow anyone to make a difference between us either. No difference. In our manhaj we are one. Our knowledge differs, but our manhaj is one. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wa subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk.